Hello once again, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft, episode four, or three, I'm sorry. Um, first thing I'll say is I did change my skin. Uh, this wasn't actually my doing, but I did want to change it to this. A friend of mine and me share this account. He's a great friend. I trust him very much. And he suggested I change the skin. I was like, dude, that's awesome. And, uh... I, uh, I got changed, um, because I couldn't find it, he changed it for me, so, uh, this is supposed to happen, like, before the Let's Play, I'm sorry, but, it, it's pretty cool, I'm wearing armor anyway, um, so, I added a stove area, because I had too much coal, uh, I went cave exploring some more, and found even more coal, just to refill them, some more diamond, iron, almost a full stack of gold, um, and this is what I'm using for. Smooth stone and lots of it. Uh, we got some nice music playing. Um, what I've done since I uh, last played on a world? Some stuff, not, not a ton. I decided I wouldn't bring out a whole bunch. I put a link to the tutorial in the description of episode 2. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm slightly sick. I don't know why. I guess I should have gotten a drink of water. Okay, I'll put a tutorial to the link on this. A link to the tutorial on this I saw. Oh crap! I'm sorry. Poor doggy. Uh, in the description I put one in for episode two. Which sorry for the confusion. That was supposed to be episode three. I did not mean to uh, cause issues. Um, another thing I've done. Uh, I added statics Smurf here. Um, which is really cool. Um, uh, I guess I'll just show you it if you haven't heard of it. I'll put a link in the description to his channel as well. Come on. Gotta get a good chunk of bone meal. Uh, do, do, do. Basically, that was how it's set up. There's a glitch currently. Well, not really a glitch. It's a bug that we like. Where if you tap the ground with this, it gets destroyed immediately. So if you spam it a little bit, you get a ton of broken stuff up there. And there's no light up there, so you don't want any light up there. And then you just break this, break this. And look at all the crap you get. And I was just spamming it a little bit, I mean, you can spam it a ton if you want. Like, I just got 29 seeds. This would have helped for building my, uh... Oh, oh, crap. Well, I gotta go get another bucket of water, because I just screwed up. Not too difficult, uh, thankfully. So, that's pretty much what I've done. I worked a bit on, um... The, uh... What's the word? The mob... A mob system. Uh, the Ethos Lab Mob Evader. As you can see, I'll just show you where I'm at on that. And, um, I made the tutorial for the lava mob, uh, killing spawn trap. Uh, so I just gotta add a few more areas. I think I'll break that apart, add areas there, and break this apart, add areas there. I'll end up with 18 pads, and then I think I'll be good. I mean, I don't need a ton. Um,. Another thing, I want to, uh, I found out that I'm particularly good at spelunking and just getting through caves and stuff. Um, I built this here, and this went down, and it went down into a cave, and I found a ton of stuff in there. And then I, um, remember the mushroom farm. Well, mushroom farm never worked, ever. So, obviously, I was wrong on how the mushrooms were set up. So, I built another one. This one's much bigger. And this one went down to bedrock. I found it in multiple caves on my way down. Uh, one of them was actually a cave I'd already been in. So, that was kind of neat, I guess. It was a little bit upsetting, though. Um, what else? What else? Uh, when, this is, when this is done, I want to show you the effectiveness of this before I make a tutorial on it. Um... Let me think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. I finally started getting mushrooms down here. And lots of them. They are reproducing 
quite nicely. I put a lot of light up because it says you need a light level of 12 and the blocks at the update have to update. They update, I believe, once every night and once every morning. As long as it actually changes. Um, and that's pretty much it for what I've done. Uh, I guess I'm going to put this away. Got tons of wheat. I need to uh, make a sugarcane farm. I'm thinking of trying to figure out how to make a uh, unique sugarcane farm. I'm not sure how. Why do I get iron? I want, I want some coal. There we go. Exactly the amount I needed. Okay, so why don't I just uh, take a quick moment to show you. I'm not sure how long this video has been going, actually. Got to be careful with it. Um, what I've done in the caves. So these were the first caves I found, and I went down and I explored. And another thing uh, I should let you know is I found... Um, in one thing I do is whenever I start hearing monsters and they're getting kind of loud, I'll press F3 to turn on this menu here. And this will show you a ton of information, including if you were to look at a mob, it'll show a bunch of numbers and where they are. So follow the numbers is a tactic I use to find new caves, because of course they're not going to be just in the middle of the ground. Uh, listening to your surroundings used to be how it was, but now of course we have this, and this uh, this simplifies it quite a bit. So follow the numbers is kind of like a game, this is a cave that I've already been in. Uh, and at the same time, it's kind of useful. Um, so that's cool. I like follow the numbers. It's, uh, it's very good for finding resources. And this is bedrock, which I'm actually going to dig out more of while I'm at it. May as well, right? If you want, want it to be bedrock, then it better look like goddamn bedrock. And I want it to look like bedrock. So there's got to be bedrock everywhere. Uh, there we go. I probably shouldn't have dug that out, actually, because that makes it harder to get back up. But, uh, yeah, that's what I've done. Uh, I'll make the tutorial on my... Um, <coughs> uh, still sick. I'll make the tutorial on my... Uh, not my... The farm. Automatic wheat farm. Uh, I'll go sleep through the night, I guess, right now, and I think the wheat should be done. I'll show you that, and then I'll get off and get to the tutorial right away, because uh, I have lots of free time today. So, that'll be nice. I'll just build it somewhere else on this world. Not really sure where. I'll figure it out. So sleep through the night. So it turns out as well, moving my bed made all the difference. I do not get monsters anymore. Hoorah. It's actually quite nice. There we go. So I'll show you this and then I'll get off. Once again, thank you all for watching. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the series thus far. Um, ratings and comments and subscribesies. Very appreciated. Like them very much. Um, god damn. I, I want to like, wait longer for it to grow. Uh, I'm going to cut it here. I'm going to check the length. If I have enough time, then I'm just going to, uh, I'll come back and when they're done. Alright, so I'll be right Awesome time for some music, though. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. So I just want to show the effectiveness of this. Uh, it's not 100% perfect. I modified the design a little bit due to some issues, but you make it all, and then boom. Absolutely all of it, except for, like I said, a few designs, flaws, which are my fault. I don't know why those happen yet. I've yet to figure that out. Um, uh, pretty much all of it gets washed away, and I just wait a moment, like a little bit longer. You don't want to leave it going forever, uh, because it will destroy your farmland. I like to leave it going for just a little bit. Because it seems to make sense that a little bit works. Oh, that's probably good. Jump down. So we got a bit from that. Grab those. Yeah, it's just the design flaws that you gotta look out for. I'm gonna fix those as soon as I can, and then I'll put the tutorial up, I guess. 
I'll put up the original way to design it, because the original way didn't have as many design flaws. Uh, it was a lot more perfect. But this one, like, for instance, those used to be filled in with regular wooden blocks, not just emptied out. Uh, there we go. And as you can see, this is quite an effective way to get all your farming stuff. It's got, like, multiple stacks of seeds. It's quite nice, really. So I'll just plant these, I guess. It takes a little bit of time to plant, but you don't even have to harvest it technically. You can just leave it forever, so. Oh, crap. Sometimes I'll make that. Sometimes I'll do that, and I'll just I'll get upset with myself. I don't like doing that. Guess I should put more lights up. That's probably gonna help this. But it has enough light not to destroy the ground, so. It's okay. It's okay. It's all good. So, yeah, I'll hopefully have the mods bar done next episode. I'll get started on the tutorial. I'll put the lava tutorial up uh, tonight, I guess. I can only upload once per day. My internet is too slow to upload more than once. Um, and it takes all night long. It literally takes an entire night time. About eight hours or so. My internet is just... It's satellite, and I live in such a rural area that there's no other provider. It's kind of depressing, actually. Because I'm probably the biggest user of internet in this house. So yeah. Anyways. That guy channel says I'll post whenever I can, and I do. No, I didn't post a second video because of technical issues. Um, and I posted the, the episode 3 version 2 or something like that. I don't know what to call it. Episode 3 originally. Episode 2 now. Um, up today or last night, whatever I prefer to say. And yeah, so that's the farm. Tutorial soon. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoy this series. Let me know in the comments below if you do. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, or give me the thumbs up. I like the thumbs up. The thumbs up is a good indication. I like it very much, so. And I will see you again later. Goodbye. If I can find the shutoff key. There we go. Bye.